Good. Since you guys are early birds, I'm gonna tell you for a dollar. <laughs> All of them? All of them. Okay, sold. All right. <laughs> Come nine o'clock, it goes up to two fifty. Rackets. Two fifty. Two two fifty for the bag 50. and everything. Sweet. How much for the donuts? <laughs> one is free. <laughs> it's in here. Yeah, it is in here. What is that? It's like a heart rate monitor. Oh, okay. It's like tracks your pulse for you. Could be, huh? Shirley, what did what did this go for? Electronics. Ah, uh, three fifty, four fifty. Five fifty six eight. Right, eight? Okay. Yep. Oh, this guy's here. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd ask for the cake pan? How about two dollars in change? I got two dollars. You said two, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Have a great one. <laughs> a dollar? <laughs> okay. Sure. Alright. You just hold it. What are you asking for your hats over here? A dollar each. A dollar each. So as I was checking out these hats, the SD card ran out of storage, so I missed the ending of this clip. But I ended up picking out a few hats and spent a total of four dollars at this stop. How much are all your hats over here? A uh, dollar piece. Dollar piece. All right. I think I'm gonna grab these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hats. Okay. Can, I, can you do five for them? Yeah. Thank you. How much for the Thomas trains? A quarter. Yeah. So, I don't know, the two trains and the tracks? Yeah, if I just toss them in there. That, yeah, the I would do that. All right. And okay. What's this guy here? It's neat, a little... Yeah. Did you do a dollar for it? Sure. All right, great. It's a cool to telescope, <laughs> too. That in there? Oh, wow. Look at that thing. I know. That looks, that looks ancient. That looks neat. <laughs> Let's see if it works. <laughs> what do you think for it? Two dollars? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, Toss so it in there. We're at four. Yeah. Okay, it's it's neat. How much are the shirts and stuff? 50 cents. 50 cents? Yep. Let's see what we can get. All the clothes are 50 cents. What are you asking for the vinyl? Dollar each. Dollar each. You can hang it. Oh. Would you be able to take five for all of them? There's eight of them. Um, yeah, it might work. That would work? Right. All right, great. And then what do you think on the DVDs? Those are a dollar each. Dollar each. Oh right, yeah, so we were at seven for those, right? So unfortunately, this stop was actually playing a bunch of copyrighted music on the radio, and I cannot post that on here. So bear with me as I narrate. First, I check out this cool book section that's in this greenhouse, and there's a Dragon Ball Z book. Uh, it's not worth very much, but Dragon Ball Z sells pretty quick, so I'll grab it. Then in the toy section, I find this Bluetooth radio. It's kind of retro looking, and it goes for a little bit, and for a dollar, you just cannot beat that. As I keep looking at the toy section, I come across this tiny keyboard. Couldn't find any sales comps on it, but I grabbed it and ended up flipping it for 18 bucks within two weeks. As I continue down this greenhouse, I actually stumble across the best find of the day, and that is a DVD set that is sealed called the Thin Man Collection. 
So I didn't know anything about it, but sealed sets worth looking up. And as I was checking it out, I couldn't believe the comps. This is my copy sold for $100 within the same weekend that I picked this up. I was really interested in these brand new polo shirts, but looking closer, they seem to all be inauthentic and you could get banned on eBay for selling something like that. I also saw this DJI drone, but it seems to be missing some parts and I don't need a new project. The last item I picked up at this stop was this keyboard overlay. I believe you put this on a keyboard and it allows you to play a particular type of game. I don't know which one, but I was able to sell it for 15 plus shipping. And right here you can see all the items I picked up, the main one being that DVD set. And all of these only cost me $15 at this stop. Triple charger. Really? That like folding wall, what were you looking for? It? Five bucks. Five bucks? If I do five bucks, can I come back for it? Because yeah. we're not going to fit it. Yeah, totally. Alright, uh, we'll give you five bucks now. Alright. So, a quick profit recap for the items worth the listing on eBay. We expect a conservative $513 in net sales. After eBay fees and cost of goods sold, we are left with $395 in potential profit from today's trip. I went back to the last sale to pick up the wall divider I purchased and noticed a PlayStation game that wasn't there the first time. I asked if they had any more video games and the lady ended up bringing out a sealed copy of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 along with this PlayStation 2 and this PlayStation 3. She only wanted $30 for the lot so I couldn't say no. Since it was off camera, I'm not counting that towards our profit recap but it was such a great find I just had to share it. If you want to see more crazy video game finds, check out this video where I found consoles for literally $1. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and as always, we'll catch you next time on...